guys, it's me. It is day four of my spinal cord stimulator, and things are going really good. Uh, last night, I did have an issue with my remote. Uh, I must have turned it up way too much, and it gave me a jolt whenever I rolled over, but that's just because I had it, I think, at like maybe 50. I don't know. It's at 34 right now, and that's probably what I run throughout the day. Um, I try to increase it as much as I can to see if I can tolerate the tingling. It's kind of a weird sensation, but it feels really good compared to being all bull, droopy and tired and sleepy and, you know, want to go to bed all the time and not get up and not have any energy to do anything. But um, I am happy to say that I think it's going really, really good. Uh, besides the headache that I have, but we're fixing to have some storms hit us here in Columbus. Um, but I think that's the only reason why I have a headache right now is because of the weather. But it's going really good. I got up and did a load of clothes. I'm actually able to bend over without any kind of pain in my back. Um, for First of all, I didn't have pain in my back anyway. It's mainly because of my neck and my shoulder. Um... I've had two tears in my rotator cuff. I've had a 100% torn tendon off of my right elbow. I've had two TMJ surgeries. Um, I've had my jaw broke. And I've had um, <clears throat> a cervical disectomy with the fusion of my 5, 6, and 7. So the leads that they put in me are all the way up in my neck. So that's where most of my pain is at, is in my neck and in my shoulder. So it's really hard for me to turn my head to the right or to lift anything very heavily. Um, I am thinking about a career change. Uh, the work that I have been doing uh, is a lot of electronic assembly, uh, sub-assembly, soldering, working under a microscope, magnifying glass, um, and setting all the time. Um, I finally reside to, <laughs> this is not the kind of work that I want to do. I've been doing it since 1984, and I've had enough, pretty much. Uh, but just wanted to let you guys know that day four, um, it's going really good. I, like I said, I've, I've done a load of clothes. I've emptied the dishwasher and I'm getting ready to go to Walmart. So to walk around a little bit and just to see if the stimulator, you know, does anything differently for me, helps me not get so easy and, you know, oh my gosh, I'm ready to sit down and, and the pain medication, I have only had to take one pill today, which is awesome because right now it is a little after two and usually, <coughs> excuse me, usually I'm up to two pain pills and probably thinking about taking my third and the gabapentin, uh, I have not taken any of that today. I'll take one tonight just so I'm not quitting that cold turkey. I have not taken any meloxicam or uh, any kind of anti-inflammatory medication. So, um, like I said, I'm feeling really good. So, I don't want to jinx it, but I think things are going to be great. Uh, I have the leads taken out on Monday, and then hopefully I will get the permanent one put in my back really quickly. Uh, my representative says that usually it takes a couple of weeks before they actually do the physical surgery and put the the main um, pacemaker battery in your back and the leads are permanently in your back as well. So hopefully I don't have to wait two weeks or three weeks because this is going really good. So if you are even thinking about having the trial done, do it. I mean, I know everybody's pain is different in... Everybody hurts a different way than other people. Not everybody's the same, and hopefully this will work for other people. I know right now with the opioid epidemic that we have going on here in Columbus alone, there is like three to six people dying a day because of the epidemic that we have going on here. And I know a lot of it has to do with that people get put on the medication and then the doctor says, oh, sorry, you're not getting no more and cuts you off completely. And then that's why a lot of people have to go and do the street drugs or, or you know, do heroin. And then it's laced with fentanyl and you get a bad, you know, whatever. I mean, it's ridiculous. I think the people that need the pain medication need the pain medication. Please 
don't think that I'm like harping on people that, you know, do drugs. I mean, that's your, your life choice if that's what you want to do. Okay. But there's too many people dying out there because of what's going on. And hopefully, you know, people can make a difference, especially if, if you feel like that you're going down that path where you need help, please reach out to somebody, anybody, um, get help. Don't, don't waste your life because, you know, of stupid choices. But on that, I just want to let everybody know that things for me are going well and I have a really good support group. My husband has been awesome. Like I said, he did buy me a um, adjustable bed with a brand new equal uh, mattress. So he's helping. And he also bought me an inversion table, which I haven't used yet. Uh, want to let don't want to do anything crazy with <laughs> the stuff going on in my back. But anyway, I uh, just want to let anybody everybody know how it's going and also this is like a little diary for myself to keep you know to see how I do later on um, I will post tomorrow you see there's my little dog right there that's Molly she's my buddy she's chilling <laughs> but um, if anybody has any questions or you want to you know comment about anything I've said please feel free to do so um, Y'all have a good one. Bye.